Hi, I'm Kirsty Harris. I'm an artist based in London and I'm here in Devon at um, the opening of my solo exhibition That Lethal Cloud at Studio Kind in North Devon. Um, and the exhibition is based around um, imagery and data and myths and stories um, about the British involvement in nuclear testing. Um, and so I guess the sort of fascination that I have with the subject has been with me since um, my childhood when we would, my family would um, drag me around protesting um, with on CND marches and um, coach trips everywhere and collecting badges and we'd be, you know, chanting and singing Ban the Bomb and these kind of, um, when I was so young, I, I, I guess I didn't really grasp what we were doing. It was just a cold, wet, muddy afternoon of some that was sometimes fun and we all got together and there's something they felt like there was something special there but um it wasn't till i was a bit older maybe 12 11 or 12 that i kind of realized what that had been for and it, that it was such a serious matter and so it's always been with me this kind of um heavy cloud i guess <laughs> this is an interactive piece that the that the viewers, um, that the audience can come and set play in or turn it off if they hate it. Um, and it's an audio piece of mine um, that I've been kind of updating since 2013 when I started making it and had um, made it into a record. And basically every note on the record represents uh, a nuclear detonation and um, every second on the record represents a month in history. So it's all laid out in a timeline. And every different instrument represents one of the nuclear nations who are testing. So it runs from 1945 up until present day. And then this one is a brand new work that is a machine woven tapestry. And it's of um, a nuclear test. Um, and I guess what I was trying to explore here were feelings of uh, protest with the way it's displayed um, and the way it kind of echoes the way banners, protest banners are made. Um, but then I'm kind of delving into this um, area with the tapestries. Um, and, and if you think of history and how tapestries have been used in the past, like the Bayo tapestry and the Guernica, one that was made of Picasso's, it's kind of an interesting subject to think about them being more political rather than, um, rather than a sort of home craft or, so I kind of like this play between the political and this kind of um, craft. This one on the left, um, I borrowed from someone who bought it during lockdown, I was making a lot of small works and these pieces on glass because I was working from home at that time. And um, this is one of those. And I, that was the kind of way I got through all the stress of COVID was just like, focusing on making these little glass paintings on this in this little area I set up at home so they really really remind me of those times when everything was completely weird 